Installing an antenna amplifier between feeder and antenna inputs can cause high amplification constant of a received path. But this method doesn't always work in long-distance reception, especially if an antenna amplifier is installed near a TV set. An antenna amplifier helps to make reception significantly better if it's built-in antenna mast between a matching unit and a feeder. What is the reason for it? A signal passing from an antenna through a feeder significantly decreases its level. Signal attenuation depends on its length and TV signal frequency. Therefore, when an antenna amplifier is installed in a TV input, an incoming signal is attenuated with losses in feeder. In other words, signal-to-noise ratio in an antenna amplifier appears to be less if an antenna amplifier were installed in antenna. Coaxial cables used for feeders, depending on material, can be of different attenuation types. If a leading cable has the maximum length, you should use a cable with a maximum insulated diameter. Usually two-stage amplifiers using high-frequency low-noise transistors are used as MV and DMV antenna amplifiers. Power for amplifiers supplied as a rule through a coaxial feeder cable with isolating device using standard electric low power supply, 12 volt. As amplifiers consume current of 50 or less milliamperes, adaptive capacity can't be over 10 watt. In order to avoid corrosion in outputs, all amplifier communications are to be soldered to take into account different environmental conditions. Some situations occur while receiving strong and weak signals simultaneously. A strong signal in input can block amplifier action. That means changing first stage function into blending. You can see it on TV screen when one picture overlaps another. It means that you've chosen two high amplification parameters and you can reduce it using power supply voltage and smooth voltage adjustments with a range from 12 to 5 volt. Good signal reception by your antenna is provided first of all thanks to the right choice of antenna amplifier that has good technical parameters and first of all amplification constant and complies with exterior cable. Built-in antenna amplifiers allow using longer feeders as well as make it possible to split signals for a greater number of customers.